Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the dictation tool in Word. So if we go to the Home tab, we go all the way across to this icon here that says Dictate, just click on it, and you'll see that you get this little menu at the bottom. I'm just going to switch it off because you can see as I started to talk, it started to type. So let's just get rid of this. And this little menu down here is very simple. So over here you have your settings and I've got both of these checked. Enable auto punctuation, which means that Word will automatically put in the punctuation for you and also filter any sensitive phrases. This is also the play button. So you click it, it will go blue and it will start to record your voice. Click it again and it will stop that. And then this icon is actually really, really helpful. If you click on here, you'll have an entire menu of all the different things that you can say to Word and what the output will be. So for example, if you were to say period full stop, you get a full stop. If you say comma, you'll get a comma and so on and so forth. So that's all the punctuation. Now, obviously Word will do a fairly good job of punctuating your sentences for you, but if you want to do it manually, then obviously it, you can see here the type of thing that you need to say to produce the outcome. We scroll down, also editing as well. It will tell you if you want to undo something, delete, delete this, delete the last, delete the word or phrase, insert a space, backspace, and backspace again. Now I'll show you how these work because it can be a little confusing. And then obviously formatting as well, we can bold, italics, underline, etc, etc. So this menu is incredibly useful to scroll down to see what you have to say to Word in order to produce a sound symbol or editing. So I'm just going to read out a couple of sentences and you'll see how this works. So I'm just going to click this icon and then speak. Video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. When you click online video, you can paste in the embedded code for the video you want to add. Now, as you can see, Word has done all the formatting for me. It's put in the full stops and it's also put in a comma. So it's done a really good job for me. So I'm going to read out the next sentence, but as I do so, I'm going to show you at the end how to delete something. So let's go ahead and speak. You can also type a keyword to search online for the video that best fits your document. Delete. Now when I say delete, it will just delete the last word or punctuation mark that I've said. If I say delete that, it will delete the whole sentence I've just said. Delete that. So if I was to say an entire paragraph, and then say delete that, it will delete the whole paragraph. So you do have to be a little bit careful. If I want to start the next sentence on a new line, I'm going to say new line and then continue to speak. New line. You can also type a keyword to search online for the video that best fits your document. Okay, so now you can see that it's gone to a new line, but if you want to start a new paragraph, then obviously you can do that by saying new paragraph. New paragraph. To make your document look professionally produced, Word provides header, footer, cover page, and text box designs that complement each other. So you have to wait until you finish your entire sentence and Word will figure out what it is you're trying to do. So let's go ahead and see if we can delete other. So switch on the microphone. Delete other. As you can see, Word's done a perfect job of deleting that word and then moving the full stop to the end of that sentence. Of course, I can also bold or underline. For example, bold that, delete, comma. You can add matching cover page, header, and sidebar. So if I only wanted to bold this section here, sometimes it will continue on and bold the rest of your text. Sometimes it's just easier to highlight the text. Just go up to bold and just click bold. So let's go ahead now and underline a title. Title of next section, underline that. Delete. So sometimes Word will actually add the punctuation to the end of your sentences where you don't want it, for example, on a title. 
So if you just say delete, it will delete the last full stop. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to read out a paragraph, but I'm going to switch off the settings that say enable auto punctuation. And this will give you some idea about how you speak to Word to pop in those commas, full stops and punctuation. So let's uncheck that. Then I'm going to select the microphone and start to speak. Themes and styles also help to keep your document coordinated, full stop. When you click design and choose a new theme, comma, the pictures, comma, charts and smart art graphics change to match your new theme, full stop. New paragraph. When you apply styles, comma, your headings change to match the new theme, full stop. Save time in Word with new buttons that show up where you need them, full stop. To change the way a picture fits in your document, comma, Click it and a button for layout options appears next to it, full stop. New paragraph. When you work on a table, comma, click where you want to add a row or a column, comma, then click the plus sign, full stop. So you can see Word will do a pretty good job. There will be things that you will see that when you've looked up or you're not watching the screen, very easy to just go in and just make those quick changes where you need to. So there's obviously a little mistake here. So it will ask you, when it's highlighted stuff, it will ask you what you want to do with it. So I find it's just easier to just go in and make those adjustments. Now, because I said plus sign down here, you can see Word has actually put in a plus sign and hasn't written the word plus sign. Again, just go in and just type plus sign. So it's not perfect, but it does a pretty good job and there will be things that you'll need to go through. Just read out just to make sure that it's put in exactly what you want. So when it comes to saying numbers, etc., it won't always type a number. It might type the word for it or it might type the number and you want the word for it. So it's that kind of thing that is a little bit troublesome. But as I say, you can just go in and correct those. Don't forget that you can also dictate into a text box or a table. So if we just go to insert along to text box and select draw text box. We just draw text box here. And then as you can see, the cursor is inside the text box. If it's not, and you've clicked away from the text box, just click on the table, click over to the left and your cursor will appear. And then again, do exactly the same. Just click the microphone and then begin to talk. Reading is easier, comma, two, comma, in the new reading view, full stop. You can collapse parts of the document and focus on the text you want, full stop. If you need to stop reading before you reach the end, comma, Word remembers where you finished, even on another device. Full stop. And why would you want to do that? Well, as I've said in a lot of my previous videos, using text box are incredibly flexible and versatile. You can change their colors, their sizes, their borders, all sorts of things. And you can also move them around. Just grab the edges. You can move them anywhere in your document. So that's another option for you as well. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.